Now, it's set to be the showbiz wedding of the year, but ahead of their marriage this weekend, Brooklyn Beckham and his fiancée, Nicola Peltz, have confessed to some pre-wedding nerves. What do you write? Speech. I'm great at dancing. I'm not nervous about that. I'm terrified for Absolutely the first dance. Absolutely not. I can't dance. Nick, kill that. Did you get pre-wedding wobbles? <laughs> Um, you know what? I didn't. I wasn't nervous at all. Um, I was more bothered about everyone else just having a really good time and all of that. Um, but it wasn't until I remember the moment where my dad took my hand as I was about to walk down the aisle and my eyes started welling up and, and I just, I don't know why, I just had this thing that I just didn't want to cry because I'd had all my makeup done and I was ready to start the day. <laughs> um, and my biggest regret is that I then walked down the whole aisle just looking at the floor. So I've got no nice pictures oh, of my dad and I. Because you were walking down the aisle. Yeah, because I, to... I was just looking at the floor because I knew if I looked at anyone that I loved, mm. they were just going to set me off. So I'd say that was like one of my biggest and things. And certainly if you'd looked at Wayne, but, yeah, who sorry. was sobbing. Oh, yeah, Wayne was at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne was waiting for it at the end. Um, Wayne was like inconsolable the whole wedding. He oh. cried most of the day. Um, he could get, barely get his speech out and then he cried Happy for weeks. Happy tears? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to get a bit worried now. That's a lot of crying. Just check in. how I feel. He cried for weeks afterwards oh, as well. God. This is this <laughs> started so well and I was like, uh, We're all going, all right? well, we might need to have a guys. gossip about this. For him, it wasn't just him, it was him, my mother-in-law and my sister for about two to three weeks afterwards, every time they rang me, I'd be like, hello, and they'd be like, oh, <laughs> So I don't know, maybe everyone was just devastated that I joined the family. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but he still holds that against me. So my message to anyone that's getting married would be just cry. Just cry. Just cry. Oh, I'll never forgive uh, you. Oh, yeah. Wear and waterproof makeup. Yeah, wear waterproof makeup. <laughs> look up. When I say it to all of my friends. Oh. My friend got married a couple of weeks ago and I was like, look up, look up. Oh. Um, and um, don't get a mirrored dance floor. Um, because I did that, because aesthetically it looked beautiful in the room. Did not think about any of my guests. Obviously, I had a long dress on, so it was fine. Oh, Everyone else, until they got drunk, oh, could not step on the dance floor <laughs> if they were wearing a dress. Oh, God. <laughs> what a mistake. I know. <laughs> what a mistake. It looked great, though, Nadia. <laughs> and it was never... a talking point, you know? <laughs> well, I would, I would have had pre-wedding wobbles if I'd known what was going to happen. So we got married, and then between getting married and going to the reception, Gary informed me that the night before, you know, we'd stayed in separate places, he'd been arrested <laughs> and thrown in a police cell. What? I know. So That's he was at a hotel with all his mates. And I won't bore you with the long story about how it happened, but basically there was a fire alarm and he wouldn't leave the hotel till he knew that the kids were all right and then they wouldn't let him know where the kids were. And anyway, he got Larry. And, uh, and then it was all fine and it was a false alarm and he went to sleep and then, like that, four policemen got arrested, chucked into, um, a, you know, the cells underneath the... And he, and he was like... And he said, at one point, I, I, I could see through the bars oh, that it was getting daylight. We were getting married at 10am. Oh, my God, I never and then knew he said, story. And then he said, and I heard a milk float, <laughs> you know, the jangling of the... And he was going... I'm getting married, I'm getting married. <laughs> and they were like, oh, we've heard that excuse before. Oh, anyway, no. blah, blah. Oh. In the end, they did let him out, thank goodness. And he was just, like, put on this roundabout in That's Windsor lovely. somewhere, had to ring his brother and say, I haven't got anything. He's like, now, I'm on a roundabout, I've been arrested. And his brother was, like, very funny and put the phone down. <laughs> so what did anyway, he do? Anyway, his brother had to meet him with his wedding clothes. And then he turns up at the Did thing, he look and a I bit went. I said, "I said, you look right, state." <laughs> I thought he was still drunk. <laughs> oh my god! That's such a fantastic story. I Dear know. reader, watching today. Imagine if Good. you'd have known before you got married. I know. Dear reader, I married him. There you go. <laughs>